So Martin, with this being a bay window, it presents different challenges. Where do I get started with measuring? You need a good quality steel tape measure to start mm -hmm. with. You also need to look at the window you're putting the pole in right. and for obstacles and things that could be in the way and cause a problem. Now with this window you've got a beam that runs across the top um, and that's about it really. It's actually a very good window to put the bay pole on. When measuring the pole, the poles come in 120, 150 and 180 lengths. Right. So all you need is basic measurements to start with. The first thing to do is measure across the front. And that's 225. So we're going to need two 120 lengths to fit on there. Okay. And then on the side section, 80 centimetres, a 1.8 metre pole for two lengths for both ends. What sort of brackets would I need for this window? Well, I've got a couple of brackets here. You've got three types of bracket, and these, right. are the, these are but these are the two most important ones. You've got a side bracket and a mid bracket. Now, when these are fixed on, you've got to look out for something that's quite important. When the mid bracket goes in, that's going to be your level right the way around the window. Now, something you have to be careful of, when these go on the sides, this section here is actually higher than the middle bracket. So you must make sure that you've got enough room to drop the pole in and also to fix the side bracket in. And there is a third bracket called a passing bracket, mm -hmm. which we'll come on to later. So when I go into John Lewis to buy the poles, what would I need to take with me? I always suggest people take a little diagram of the window in with them and um, with the measurements on there. And if you can, take a photograph of where the yeah. pole is going to be fixed to. Um, and the members of staff will be able to help you choose exactly what you need. So apart from the poles, these are all of the bits that we need for this window. One passing ring for every 10 centimetres of pole. Pole connector. Two finials. Two flexible bends. Two side brackets. Two passing brackets. And one centre bracket. With a job like this, you need two pairs of hands, so I've got Steve to help me. First thing you need to do is measure the window and find the middle. Once you've found the middle, measure up eight centimetres from the top of the frame. From the mark you've made, use a spirit level to draw a line for the middle of the centre bracket. Mark the holes. Drill the holes and use the appropriate fixings to secure the bracket. For the passing bracket, measure 30 centimetres from the corner of the wall towards the centre bracket and mark it. Check that the pole is level when placed in both brackets. Mark the position of the passing bracket holes and drill and secure as before. Join the two poles with a flexible bend. Then bend in the return side to make the desired angle. Measure your finial, add two and a half centimetres and make a mark for the side brackets at that point. Place the pole into the brackets and use a spirit level diagonally across to check the bracket is in the right place. Mark the holes, drill and secure. Mark the return pole two and a half centimetres past the bracket. Cut the pole to size with a hacksaw. Put the passing rings on the pole. These allow the curtains to glide over the passing bracket. You'll need one ring for every 10 centimetres of pole. Make sure the gap in the ring is at the back. Place the pole into position, making sure one ring is between the bracket and the finial. Use the Allen key to tighten the grub screws. Repeat the whole process on the other side of the window and join the poles together with the connector. Finally, hang the curtains by putting the hooks through the rings. Job done. <laughs>